Yo, KFG fans, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, people, joining to my tab. Welcome to my WWE Full Show Raw and Review. What's all this video? So you guys know, hit that red button, connect with me the right way, and turn on those post notifications every time I upload a video. Let's get started. What can I say about the show? This show was absolutely embarrassing. A six man, a six man, two out of two out of three, um, falls match, elimination tag team match. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? But this show right here was just another embarrassment. Just embarrassment. The first tw first twenty one minutes of Raw was just embarrassing. But it, but I really appreciate the kick off the match with the elimination match with Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins versus Adrane and his, Adrane and Selena Vega. They did the right thing on that one. But the rest of the show just went downhill. It is what it is from there. That's just my thoughts, my opinion. Well, for um, for that for, for you guys don't know who I am. My name is Big Boy Giant Two Five. Um, I do review. I do. I, my name is Big Boy Giant Two Five, and I'm I'm here to say I do review and results video on my on my on my um on my channel. So it is weird. So now I just want to let you guys know that. But this show was just terrible. But now let me just get straight to the point because Raw was just terrible, embarrassment. We see um. I'm just gonna go over these match cards, cause these match cards and stuff was just absolutely terrible. But it would just laugh with me. We got a six man, two out of three falls elimination match. It was just ridiculous. So, so the first match we're gonna kick off was elimination match: Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins versus Andrade and Selena Vega. You know what I'm saying? Um, this match didn't really take too long. It says. We it says we go to the ring and and it's announced that this will now be in an elimination match. Raw Women's Champion Becky Lynch is out first and as the announced hype tonight show. Renee Young Mysterio will be issuing an open challenge tonight. Ricochet versus Luke Gallows was also announced. The WWE Universal Champion Seth Rollins is out is out next to join Becky Lynch. Next comes Adrian and Selena Vega. Okay, I like how they kick things off, but my opinion is this: the show was just embarrassing. It says the winner of the match, Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch. What else happened? It says after the match, it says after the match, Lynch and Rollins celebrates in the ring. Rollins' music hits. We go to replays. Rollins and Lynch heads up the ramp, but Baron Corbin runs down and drops Rollins with a cheap shot. Corbin on lows until Becky tries to step to stop him. Lacey Evans runs over and drops Lynch. Evans and Corbin sends Tar over. Lynch and Rollins is officially checked out, checked on them. Paul Heyman will come comes walking past Seth Rollins to Becky Lynch as fans pop loudly. Heyman keeps walking to the ring and we go to commercial break. Back from the break, we just we see what just happened to Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch. Baron Corbin and Lacey Evans are backstage laughing at, laughing at how easily they attack was. Evans says they Evans says they manipulate those those two nast, nasties. Um, Corbin wonders how the title changes at Extreme Rules will be will affect their relationship. I'm not excited for Extreme Rules at all, so I don't really care about Extreme Rules at this point. So, um, uh, Paul Heyman walks Seth Rollins. I already read it. I'm sorry. Then we get, then we see this. We go to, uh, we go to the ring and Paul Heyman is out with a mic. Heyman introduced himself as the executive for Brock Lesnar and said he's shooting from the hip tonight. Okay. What else Heyman said? We see, we, um, Heyman says, Brent Heyman brings up Sunday's WWE Extreme Rules pay per view, and he he says just happened to how something about words extreme, and he knows a lot about the word extreme in Philadelphia. Word show to, will be held. Some fans chanted for ECW. Heyman says Lesnar will cash in his money in the bank title shot against either himself or Kofi Kingston at Extreme Rules, and that and that spoiler. Not prediction. Heyman goes on about whether or not he really give away a spoiler 
or he just messing with Kofi himself. Heyman says he only he and Lesnar know the truth. Heyman drops the mic and walks off. Okay. Um, Cole says Barry. Cole says Braun Strowman and Bobby Lashley will be will be at Extreme Rules. He showed us a video package of a highlight from the last week's Boss Count Anywhere match and the stage explodes and last man's match is announced for Sunday. Two out of two out of um two out of three falls match. The Miz and the Usos versus W Robert and Elias. This this match was just laughable to me. This show this match was just laughable to me. So um so what happened here? It says um the winner of the match, the Usos and the Miz. Alright. After the match, the Usos and the Miz stand saw together and start celebrating. Still to come, Nikki Cross versus Bailey in the beat the clock challenge. The winner will get to set their stipulations for Alexa Bliss versus Bailey at Extreme Rules. Cole says Bliss will not be here tonight. What are they fighting for? This beat the clock challenge. What are they fighting for? Why is Bailey and Nikki Cross is competing on competing a um beat the clock challenge? What are they both fighting for? It just don't make no sense at whatsoever. It just don't make no sense. Then we see Drake Maverick. Won the 24-7, 24-7 title last week on Raw. We also see someone in honeymoon clips up for clips for Twitter with with wife Renee Michelle who has been miserable the whole time because of the title. The cameras cuts backstage and we see Renee um, Drake is sneaking around and hiding in the production case. Renee isn't happy. She has to play lookout. Dre asks if her if she wants to get in the case and gets in on Drake. Promises to show her what a great husband is he. They they and then he give her the honeymoon she deserves. Renee says then Renee says then and only they can they consummate the marriage. Drake is thrilled. We hear a group of superstars coming as Drake runs off with the title. Rey Mysterio is showing backstage walking for his open challenge. Backstage, back to commercial. Back from the break, we see the McMahons with Drew McIntyre backstage approaching constantly concession guys selling $15 beer. They, they talk to him about being Roman Reigns' tag partner later on. We go, we go to the ring. We go to the ring, and Rey Mysterio. We go to the ring, and out comes Rey Mysterio making his return from the recent separate shoulder. Rey Mysterio on the mic says he will he will keep this short and simple. He talks about relinquished the United States Champion six weeks ago. And says it was one of the hardest thing he ever had to do. Ray says doctors told him it will be a long time before he could return, but he refused that. Work harder and become hunger. Fans pop when Ray says he beats the doctor's predictions, and now he's back. He's so ready to compete. Ray issues an open challenge to anyone in the back is listening. So we have. Rey Mysterio versus Bobby Lashley. This match didn't even take too long. The music hits and out comes Bobby Lashley to answer the challenge. Surprising everyone for returning after last week's stage explodes with Braun Strowman. The bell rings and Rey Mysterio immediately attacks to start. They go at it and trade shots. Rey with a early 619 for a pop. Rey gets to the top but Lashley catches him in midair, planting him in the mat. Lashley goes on and hits a big spear for an easy win over Mysterio. The winner of the match, Bobby Lashley. Um, okay. This just didn't do any good. This match didn't take too long. I didn't really care. But No Way Jose versus Cesaro. That match was garbage. Cesaro wins anyway. After after the match, Cesaro sends saw after an easy win. The referee checks on Jose. Don't really care. Let me move on from this garbage match. Then we get 
What else happened on this match? We get the, um, hold on, where is it at? Where is it at? I'm sorry, guys. Where is it? Let me find it. There it is. I found it, guys. The Viking Riders versus Colin Justin and Devin Justin. This match was just garbage. This match was garbage. Unbelievable. The ma the winner of the match, the Viking Raiders. I don't really care about that. I don't really care. Now let me move on. What else happened? What else happened on this embarrassing, embarrassing Raw show? This this show was just embarrassing. Car Ricochet versus Carl Anderson. Okay, oh, I'm sorry. I mean Ricochet versus Luke Gallows. Uh, Ricochet won this match. Uh, yeah, Ricochet won this match. Then we get another match between Ricochet versus Carl Anderson. And who won this match? Ricochet. The 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 club attack Ricochet again. Beat the clock. Beat the clock challenge match. Bailey versus Sarah Logan. This match was just okay. This match was just garbage. This match was garbage. Why? What are they fighting for? But I'm surprised. I'm surprised we saw Sarah Logan, and won this match. Bailey. Then all of a sudden we get the another beat the clock challenge. Nikki Cross versus Dana Brooke. I don't really care about this match. So Nikki Cross made a a two a two on one handicap match for the SmackDown Live Women's Champion. Don't really care. Roman Reigns and Cedric Alexander versus Drew McIntyre and Shane McMahon. Don't really care about this match. This match was just garbage. This match was garbage. The winner of the match, Shane McMahon and Drew McIntyre. After the match, Reigns runs and looks down and, and knocks Drew out of the ring with a Superman punch. Shane repeat, repeats up the ramp. Which will retreats up the ramp with Drew. Reigns catches his shoulder as we get a replay. Shane and Drew stand tall on the stage as they are announced as the winners. Gary unmasks and it, it revealed to be Cedric Alexander under the mask. Reigns is surprised. Shane and Drew aren't happy. Looking from the stage, Cedric stands tall with Reigns as Shane and Drew looks on from the stage. The announcers go over. The Extreme Rules card as as the go home show as the go home raw goes off the air. You call this a go home show? I call this embarrassing go home show. This show was just embarrassing, and that's all I got to say from here. This show was just this show was garbage and embarrassing at the same time. But if you guys enjoy my WWE full show full show raw and review results video. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys think on Raw. And um, and I will see you guys on my SmackDown Live review and results video. But um, talk to you guys later. KFG family. See you guys, see you guys tomorrow on my SmackDown Live review. Love and respect. Peace out, guys.